everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a highlighter declutter because this is ridiculous I know that I have a lot of like and I understand that I need to declutter them and then start using them they are ones in here that I don't like there are ones that don't fit with my coloring my skin tone all of that so we're going to be going through all of these I'm getting some hate comments about my declutter series because people keep saying I don't use my products a lot of time when I'm using these products it looks like they're pretty neat and tidy and not like beat to shit is because the fact that I try to take care of my makeup as much as possible so that is just something to to think about I actually do take care of a lot of my stuff because I want it to last so I don't beat the shit out of a lot of my products so it looks like they haven't been touched because quite honestly I like to keep them clean I love highlighters like I have a, an affinity for eyeshadow palettes face palettes and highlighters I don't know what my problem is but those are my three things that I gear towards all the time and it has gotten out of control I know this you know this we all know this so yeah so I'm gonna definitely be paring down today I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of a whole lot I do want to get these all in one drawer though so that is my plan today is to try to get all of these in one drawer because I do have one drawer for bronzers and I really don't have that many now that I've pared down. So I'm trying to get the rest in one drawer with the rest of my bronzers. Let's go ahead and just hop right in. Let's start with the Milani one over here. This is a newer one to my collection. This is a Hypnotic Lights. It's a, so pretty and it's got a pink shift to it. I love this one. I've been using it nonstop since I got it. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one because it's freaking beautiful. Amrezy, I spent $30 and I drove all the way to Mesa for this. And I love this highlighter and I have used it quite a bit. So I'm gonna be keeping this one. <laughs> We've got Wet n Wild. This one is uh, the Sweetest Bling. It's really gorgeous. I love Wet n Wild freaking highlighters. I love them, all of them. The formulation on these are freaking stunning. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this guy, but I do have a purple one here. This one is Lilac, Lilac to Reality, and it's purpley. I don't know if that's gonna work for me. I've used it, yeah, that is way too purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that guy on. I love the formulation of these though. They're so good. If you've never tried them, I highly recommend them. They're freaking fantastic. Okay, so this is Precious Petals. I love this one. It is so, so pretty. It's, uh, yeah, keeping that. Let's see here, the uh, Master Chrome. This one is in 250. Oh, look at that. Yeah, keeping that one. I know Maybelline is not cruelty free. I have just recently started making sure that I'm not buying things that are tested on animals. That literally started when I started my clutter series. So I have a lot of stuff in here that is not cruelty free that I'm going to use up and then, or pass along. Um, and then I'm gonna start buying more cruelty free. So just so you know, Maybelline, Revlon, L'Oreal, all, all are not cruelty free, unfortunately. But Milani is, Wet n Wild is, and like physician formula, I believe is. If you know different, please put it in the comments below for me because I, I'm i still working on trying to figure out what ones are and are not cruelty free. So this is a Mega Glow Highlighter and Crown My Canopy. Again, a gorgeous color, but I think it's too dark for me. Yeah, that's gonna be too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. This one is the Highlighter Gold Bar and Holy Gold Head. Just like that. It's so funny because when I first got these, I thought it was overspray, but it's really not. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one because it's right here. That one's beautiful. It's much lighter than this one. So I'm gonna keep the Gold Bar. Um, we've got some more Wet n Wild back here. Wet and wild, wet and wild. Where are you? Is that all? I thought I had more wet and wild. These ones are freaking amazing. This is all Mega Glow Highlighter Bars in Earth. Can we just appreciate that? So good. Keeping Earth. This one is Air. I just love the packaging. Not great at storing, but I just love how sleek and long it is. It's definitely different from what they usually put out. 
and that one's beautiful too. I love that champagne color. It's got a little bit more of a like pink undertone to it and the one next to it, which is earth, is a little bit more champagne and nude. And then this one is fire and it looks like this. And this one is right here and that's much more gold. I'm keeping all three of these. I freaking love wet and wild highlighters. Love them. They're so good and they don't get enough love. Okay, let's look at these tart ones. This is Stunner and Exposed, Exposed Highlight. So this one is Stunner. And that one's beautiful. Yes, keeping that. Exposed Highlight. Oh yeah, keeping that. Oh God, I'm not doing good guys. <laughs> This one is the Laura Geller Gelato Lace Illuminizer and Ballerina. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. This one, what is this? This is Tiki from Hard Candy. And it's right there. Yeah, keeping that one. Got these boxed highlighters. Have these forever. Don't touch them. They're going. This one is Golden Goddess and Gold uh, Goddess of Faith. Goddess of Faith looks like that. And I love that one to death because it's more of a champagne color. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. Pass those bad boys along. Um, let's see here. We've got Makeup Geek. Oh my. Okay. So what happened to Makeup Geek? I have no idea, you guys. I don't hear about them at all anymore. I know they're in Target, but I literally don't hear about that company at all. So I don't know what the deal is, if they're still around, if they're still popular. I've been out of the game a long time, so you guys let me know. This one is Celestial. And it's got a really pretty shift to it, but I don't think I'll ever wear that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pass that along. Um, let's see here. This one is Glitz. Again, these are really soft and nice. That one's pretty. It's like super duper frosty. What's the other one look like? This one is Moon Phase. And this one's super white. That one's different. Shit, um, I don't need them. I'm gonna go ahead and just pass those along. Um, okay, let's look at these highlighters from ColourPop. Because I've got a few of them. I've got some super shock ones and then I've got some ones that are powder here so this one is fanny pack go ahead and see if it's dried out no it's nice and soft and creamy still oh yeah we're keeping fanny pack hell yeah this one is smoke and whistles I heard so much about this one it's still nice and soft yeah keeping that and again, I'm really getting into cream products more now that I'm doing this declutters and I find that my makeup actually lasts longer with cream products, putting something like this down and then putting a powder on top. So I love that I have these in my collection. This one's gonna be way too dark for me, yeah. Oh yeah, that's way too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pass this one along and this one is Parcel parcel yeah too dark for me getting past lunch money yeah gonna keep that sweet okay so let's look at these powder ones now I really got to get like a huggy wipe or something this is a pressed face powder it says it's bronzer but ruffle my feathers Ooh, yeah passing that along I don't know why I even bought that here kitty kitty yeah, it's gonna be too dark for me. This one is Angel Food. I mean, it could be a blush topper. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's more of a blush topper. I have too many blushes as it is. That one's gotta go. All right, Super Shock from ColourPop. This one is Butterfly Beach. That's really pretty. Let's see, nice and creamy. Oh yeah, that one's really pretty. Yeah, we're gonna keep that. Okay, Melt. This one is Stargazer. I think this one's going to be too dark for me. What am I doing? Actually, no, that's not too bad. I thought that that was going to be darker than it is in the pan. Yeah, we're keeping that one. 
This one is gold or that, oh my God, why is it so pretty? That one is way too dark for me and really gold. Yeah, gold ore's gotta go. These are the Anastasia Illuminators. You can't get these anymore. They were so popular. One of my, my videos from like however many years ago has like 11,000 views on it because of one of these. Um, this is peach, peach nectar. Oh my God, look at that color. Ugh. Okay, as a blush topper, we're keeping that one. This one is so Hollywood and yes, we're definitely keeping this one. You can't even get these or find these anymore. Look at that gold, oh my God. The gold one is right here, right in the middle. Yeah, keeping that. Okay, we're gonna do Bobbi Brown because we have a ton of Bobbi Brown here. I was definitely into her highlighters for a very long time and I'm not 100% sure if she's cruelty free. I don't think she is, so ouch, that sucks. Ooh, good Lord, girl, what, what, what is this? Sunset Glow, yeah, Sunset Glow's gotta go, cause that is way too pink, and that's a blush topper for sure. I'm passing that along, definitely not a highlighter. This is After Moon Glow, Afternoon Glow, I'm sorry. I have loved the shit out of this one. Keeping it, love it, bronze brick, uh, never use it, passing it along. Pink Quartz, that one's really pretty too. But again, don't use it, passing it along. Telerude, Telerude, that one's really pretty. Keeping that. This one is Pink Glow. Gorgeous, keeping that. And this one, these bricks are ridiculous. This is Nectar and passing that along because it's never gonna suit my skin tone. And we've got Laura Mercier. This one is in Indiscretion. It actually looks really good on. It looks a little dark in the pan, but it looks great on, on the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Let's see here, Physician's Formula Brick. This one is in Vegas Strip. Kathleen Lights talked about that. this one. That's why I bought it. And I think it's too dark for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along. So let's start with I've got an LA girl and then let's do the elf. The LA girl one is in 110 watt. Looks like that. Nikki Tutorials talked about this. That's stunning, keeping that. And elf, okay, so this one is in white gold. These are newer, I just purchased these, so most of these are gonna stay. White gold is stunning, keeping that. This one is bronze gold think it might be too dark for my skin tone, but let's take a look, see here. Bronze gold right there, looks like this. So we're keeping that one. This one is well, rose gold, absolutely stunning, keeping that one. This one is 24 karat gold, keeping that one. Okay, so these were the baked, this is pink diamonds. I'm not a, a if you've watched all of these or binge watching these, you've heard me say this before in other videos for my declutter series that big products are not my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. It's not great. And then this one, the Moonlight Pearls, Kathleen Lights raved about this. I scratched off the top and it does work better now. You can see that. So I'm gonna keep that one, but the pink one I think is gonna be um, something I won't wear. So I'm gonna pass that along. This one is the HD Powder from e.l.f. in Sunset Glow. Looks like that. Has more of a peachy undertone to it. It's definitely not as shimmery as the baked products. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. It has more of a sheen than anything and it doesn't have glitter in it, which I like. And then this one is the Highlighting HD Powder in Starlight Glow from e.l.f. And that one's really pretty too. Go ahead, yeah, keeping that one because it's more of a sheen. Okay, Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Another YouTuber was talking about this. I think it was Kathleen Lights. Really pretty from Essence, love it. Keeping it, it's more of a sheen as well, which is nice. Okay, this is You Glow Girl. It's a baked highlighter and it's in Twilight from Essence, or J-Cat Beauty, I'm sorry, J-Cat. And uh, looks like that. I think it's gonna be way too dark for my skin. So let's go ahead and just, yeah. 
It's gorgeous though. Oh my God, that's beautiful. My leg is falling asleep. The LA Girl really quick. This one is in 50 watt. Looks like that. It's kind of a champagne color. Freaking beautiful. Keeping that. Um, Betty Luminizer. Oldie but goodie. And I have ones just like that. I'm gonna pass that one along. Um, okay, so let's take a look at these ones. Champagne from Makeup Revolution. Really pretty. A little bit of a shift. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that guy. This one is Makeup Revolution Strobe Light in Radiant Light. Really pretty. Super duper soft. Holy crap, that's soft. It's more of a sheen than it is glittery, as you can see. The difference between a sheen here and the other one, which was sun-kissed, a little bit more cakey. This one is more of a sheen. I'm gonna keep that one. And then strobe highlighter. This one is an Everglow Lights from Makeup Revolution. These ones are so nice and super crazy soft. Oh my God. Holy crap. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Let's see here. This is Moonlight. Moon Glow Lights from Makeup Revolution. Looks like that. Again, with the sheen and the softness, and that one's stunning as well. Keeping that. <sighs> okay, so Makeup Revolution, another one. This one is the Shimmer Brick in Radiance. This is like the Shimmer Bricks from Bobbi Brown. Yeah, I never use these, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along as well. This one is Allure. I just, I don't find any passion in this one. And then Sin, I use all the time. I love Sin, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep Sin, but Allure's gotta go. He's too pink anyway. He's very much like the pink diamonds from e.l.f. So Becca, we've got Champagne Pop, of course, keeping. Is this Champagne Pop poured or is this? No, this is just a pressed one. It's gorgeous. Everybody, it's kind of like a staple. I like Prosecco Pop better, that's just me. Uh, Moonstone, again, beautiful. Love it, keeping it. This one is, oh, this is a Moonstone poured. So I'm keeping that one. Please don't be dried out. No, it's not, yes. Okay, yeah, we're keeping that. And then this one is Prosecco Pop, which I freaking love. Prosecco Pop and Amaretto. Freaking beautiful, keeping that. I love Amaretto as a blush. I freaking love it. It's so freaking pretty. This one is Pixie. This is Santorini Sunset. Again, another recommendation from Kathleen Lights. I love her. I think that she tries her best to be as honest as possible. I love that color. Yeah, we're keeping that. Santorini Sunset for sure. I knew I wasn't gonna declutter a lot of these. God dang it. <laughs> this one is a Brilliant Strobe Light from Hourglass. And it's very pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna use it, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use it. It's gorgeous and it's a sheen, but yeah, we're gonna pass that one along. Let's see here, Albatross from NARS. Oh my God, there's that, Albatross. It's kind of like the Hourglass Brilliant Strobe Light. These two were very, very similar. And honestly, I don't use either of them. They both gotta go. Like legitimately, they gotta go. Okay, Laura Geller, this one is Diamond Dust. This was a huge thing for a lot of people. Oh yeah, because it, it's got a, oh my God. It's got a shift to it. And it very much reminds me of, where is it? This one from Milani. They look very different in the pan, but they remind me of each other. One has a little bit more pink shift to it, but I love these both. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of those. They're so freaking similar. What the, f okay. <sighs> Do I really need both? No, you know what? I really don't. Laura Geller's gotta go. Okay, bye Laura, sorry. I already have one just like you. Okay, so this one is from Milani, and if you've never tried their highlighters, they're freaking beautiful. This one is an Afterglow, and it is a travel size mini I got. I love it. I will definitely be purchasing a lot more of theirs when it comes time after I've used some of these, but I would definitely go to Milani before I would buy a high-end highlighter. 
because they're so good and they're super affordable. But I need to use these first. These guys, what are these? These are sunlight and I'm never gonna use it. Yeah, that one's gotta go. Milani, this is candlelight. Again, unfortunately it's gotta go. Haven't used them. And I've got other Milani ones that I like. So, and Wet n Wild and everybody else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at these. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one was special edition, like 2017, 2016. I love this. Definitely keeping it. This one is Soft Frost, and it's got a shift to it too. <laughs> I apparently really like the shifts. That one's gotta go. Okay, that one's going because I already have one just like it. This is Double Gleam. And I think I'm gonna keep this one. This one's more of a champagne. Oh yeah, I'm definitely keeping that one. And that one's gotta stay. This is Show Glow. That one I'm keeping. This one is Beaming Blush. Beaming Blush. That one is beautiful as well. If you see that sheen. Yep, keeping that one. Shit, what is this? This is Soft and Gentle. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. Always gonna keep that. That is a staple forever. Tried and true. And this is Lunar Luster. I don't know, this is like so weird because I think that this is part of some sort of Star Trek collection. And let's see. Like legitimately get nothing off of this. Like none, nada. What is, yeah, that one's gotta go. Okay, so I will come back with numbers and I will be right back with you. Okay, so there is 30 highlighters here that I'm gonna be giving away to friends and family and posting on Poshmark if I can, sanitize them and put them up. I'm keeping 48, so I'm actually proud of myself because 30 highlighters, getting rid of 30 highlighters is a big feat for me because quite honestly, I love them. But I'm keeping 48 and I feel like I did a pretty good job of paring down and knowing what is going to work for my skin tone. So if you're interested in any of the products, I will go ahead and put my uh, Poshmark information in the down bar description box thingy below. If you'd like to see my foundations decluttered, setting sprays, lip products, I think lips are gonna be next because it's ridiculous. We're gonna cut that in half for sure. So I'm very proud of myself. I know some people are gonna be so mad and write hate comments and troll me or whatever about my collection, but I do go through quite a lot, especially because of, you know, doing YouTube. So anyways, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.